What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and we are less than a week away from the 2023 WWE Royal Rumble pay-per-view event. Now, it's always a wrestling fan's probably favourite time of year is the Royal Rumble going into WrestleMania season because we never know what surprises are in store. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I have put together 10 reasonably uh, realistic surprises that we could see enter the 2023 Men's Royal Rumble match. Without further ado, let's get right in to number 10. Now at number 10, I have a bit of a silly one. I know I just said realistic, but this could happen, but it's, it's very unlikely. I have got down Ezekiel. Now Ezekiel got written off TV last year, uh, right around when Triple H took over the WWE. I believe he was written off by getting attacked by Kevin Owens. Of course, we all know that the man that plays the character is the same man that plays the character of Elias. Ezekiel is in character Elias's younger brother, but really it's just one dude uh, and he's shaved his beard off to become Ezekiel. Now I think it would be hilarious if we had Elias entering the Royal Rumble early on and then uh, get eliminated, go in the back, shave his beard beard quickly, put his other gear on and then come out as Ezekiel and then, you know, just give him a fake beard for a little while until a real one grows back. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, quick throwaway funny one right there, Ezekiel to enter the Rumble match. Next up, we have someone that has been back with the WWE for a little while now, and they are actually one of the commentators on a Friday night Smackdown. I am, of course, talking about former Intercontinental Champion, Wade Barrett. Now, Barrett, I believe, has said he's retired from in-ring competition. However, we have seen announcers, commentators get in and enter the Rumble match before. So why not? Why not Barrett sit at the commentary desk or even sit backstage, whatever, get up, take off his suit. He's wearing his trunks, his knee pads, his boots. Uh, he's got his elbow pad on, lower it down and ball hammer a few people in the Rumble match before getting dumped out. Just as a nice, quick little, you know, there you go, you're on commentary, you're back with the company, we might as well chuck you in for a Royal Rumble surprise. I don't know, will we see it? Hopefully, but uh, yeah, Wade Barrett to enter the Rumble. Sticking with the commentators, coming in at number eight, we have someone that I actually put on this list last year, Corey Graves. Now, Graves was medically cleared by WWE over a year ago, hence why I had him down on the list last year. Everyone thought he was going to be a surprise entrant in the Rumble. It didn't happen. Uh, he hasn't teased being back in the ring at all. As a matter of fact, I think Corey is probably very happy with his position in WWE right now. You know, he, he has a great career as a commentator. He's not having to take any bumps. So, you know, there's, there's no harm in doing that. Uh, but yeah, I think it'll be nice for one last little run from Corey Graves or just one time, one time only, enter a Royal Rumble match. You're medically cleared, man. Make the most of it. Corey Graves to enter the Rumble match. Number seven on the list is the current NXT champion, Bron Breaker. Now, I'm not too familiar with Bron Breaker's work. I don't follow NXT 2.0 and I haven't really been following it now that it's just been rebranded as NXT again. Uh, but one rule that I've always said is I think that the uh, all the singles champions in WWE should be allowed to enter the Rumble match. Obviously, back in the day, we had the NXT UK championship. That's gone now. But I was always gutted when we'd never see like the NXT UK or the NXT or the North American champion enter the Rumble. You're a champion in WWE. Enter. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone's fighting for that top spot. It's a cool little surprise. You get to see someone that's not regularly showcased on Raw and SmackDown. The NXT fans get a pop out of it. And uh, yeah, obviously Bron is going to be soon moving up to Raw or SmackDown, I'm pretty sure. So why not have him enter the Rumble match and give the fans a taster of what he can do? Bron Breaker to enter the Rumble. Next up on my list is a surprise return from injury. The Viper, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Now, we haven't really had a massive update on Randy's injury status for a long time now. We know he's been out for a while. Uh, it was only meant to be a short period of time, but the injury was more severe than they initially thought. We haven't seen him wrestle since May 20th, 2022, and I think it would be a really nice surprise to see the Viper come out. You know, I don't know if they are, but I'd have the Bloodline enter. They're the ones that injured him. You know, Kayfabe injured him in the first place, and then have Randy come out and clear the Bloodline from the Rumble. I just think that would be a great pop, a great little spot, and uh, yeah, a nice way to get the Viper back on the road to WrestleMania. So there you go, Randy Orton to enter the Rumble. 
My number five pick is the five-time, 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 five-time world champion, Booker T. Can you dig that sucker? Booker was recently asked on his Hall of Fame podcast if he would enter the Royal Rumble match. And he said, and I quote, Hey man, you know what? If I get an invite, I definitely will. So there you go. Booker T has opened it up. Said 100%. If they invite me, I'll do it. You know, he's been wrestling for his promotion recently. He's still in ring. He can still go. I think it'll be a massive pop. Surprise nostalgia pop for him. Booker T to enter the Rumble. My number four pick is someone that is not currently signed to WWE. I am talking about Matt Cardona, FKA, Zack Ryder. Now, it has recently been brought to my attention by Des and Jason, two people I train with, that Matt Cardona has actually filed a trademark for the name Zack Ryder again. So does this mean he is coming back to WWE as Zack Ryder? I don't know. I'd love to see it. But personally, I think if he did, he'd have to come back as Matt Cardona. I think Zack Ryder, I mean, Matt Cardona said himself, Zack Ryder is dead. You know, fresh start, be Matt Cardona, be the guy you were in GCW. But either way, I'd be super happy to see him back in the WWE. There you go. Matt Cardona to enter the Rumble. We are on the final three now, and coming in as number three, we have the heartbreak kid, Sean Michaels. Now, Michaels has said he's not interested in doing any other matches, and that's fine. But a Royal Rumble isn't exactly a long stint. You know, you can do a Royal Rumble as long as you're, like, okay medically to do it. And uh, being in the San Antonio Alamo Dome in Texas, the hometown of the Heartbreak Kid, I think it would be perfect. And not to mention, the last time Sean wrestled was at Crown Jewel 2018. And I'm sure we are all in agreement that that is a night that we would all rather forget. So why not erase that from the history as your last match, your last appearance? Come out, do a quick nostalgia spot, you know, do your comeback, hit a couple of atomic drops, forearms, flying forearms, switch in musics, the lot, and then get dunked out by a top new heel. You know, someone like Damien Priest, put them over a little bit. I, I don't know. I think it's there. I think it could happen. It just entirely depends on if Sean wants to do it. But he's my number three pick, Shawn Michaels, to enter the Rumble. At number two, we have probably the most predicted, most obvious one on the list. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. It is The Rock. Now, posters have been electrifying for the Royal Rumble. The tease for Roman versus Rock at WrestleMania Hollywood has been a thing for like three years now. I think it needs to happen. I'd like to see it happen. Doesn't mean he necessarily needs to win the Royal Rumble, but for him to come back, you know, have a quick stint in the Rumble, show that he's back, target Roman, whatever... Uh, but yeah, I think Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, you know, it's been stated, all the news sites are reporting that he's not coming back for WrestleMania. But of course, they would say that. Um, I am still holding on hope as I would like to see it. The Rock to enter the Royal Rumble. And that brings me to my number one. Now, this is another unrealistic one, but it has to be said. CM Punk back in WWE in the Royal Rumble. You know, all the stuff has happened in AEW. I am aware of this fact. I'm aware that he's most definitely probably still under contract. I'm aware that he's injured. But can you guys just imagine? Can you imagine the pop and the reaction from the crowd if after all these years, after going to AEW, CM Punk returned in the Royal Rumble. I, I don't think I'd be able to do anything other than laugh. I mean, it would just be the, the funniest, craziest moment since Edge's return. And uh, I am here for it. I am 100% here for it. Triple H in creative control. I don't know whether they'd be able to put their differences aside, but it would be cool if they can. Obviously, Punk had the whole issue with Kenny and the Young Bucks and all that stuff. Um, but AEW haven't really commented on it or even mentioned that he exists since that moment. So they could have quietly, uh, you know, released his contract, let him go without us knowing it could happen. Uh, it's probably more likely now than it ever has been considering Punk has come back to wrestling, but he's not currently with AEW as an on-screen star. I don't know. I'd like to see it. CM Punk 
to enter the 2023 Royal Rumble. What a moment that would be. But let me know yours in the comment section down below. Let me know people you think could potentially surprise return in this year's Rumble. I am looking forward to it. There'll be a couple more bits of Royal Rumble content to come. Hopefully another video similar to this one along with my predictions. Uh, but yeah, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. I'm looking forward to it this year. Hopefully it's a good one. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.